Phrase Express can generate emails with a single click, as you can see in this example. It launches your email program if it is not running and renders an entire email, including an attachment, formatted text, and pictures if you want. Now let's check how this is done in Phrase Express. We've already prepared a phrase which contains formatted text and a picture. Now we create a new phrase and this will hold the macro to generate a new email. We can remove the phrase contents. Now we add the macro to generate an email. It's under automation and it's create email. You can now enter a specific email address or if you prefer to keep it dynamic, you can right click and select user input, manual input and prompt for the email address. You can even have Phrase Express check for the right syntax. Okay, Phrase Express inserted the macro function to prompt for an email address. Here you can enter the subject and define an attachment, like this PDF file. Here you would normally enter the email body, but as you want to have a formatted phrase, you can't enter it directly here, but you need to link to the formatted phrase we prepared earlier. So you right click to insert a macro, and then you select Programming, Insert Phrase, then you select the desired phrase, which is this example, and that's it. And the email body will then consist of the formatted phrase. Also make sure to activate this option. If you don't see this option, we can close this here, we are finished with this macro. If you don't see this HTML option, check under Settings, Expert Options, that you selected the Use Outlook OLE Automation because uh, formatted email sending requires the settings. If you use Gmail, choose Gmail. The option Mail2 and MAPI does not support formatted emails. That's it.